be. I'm curious to walk towards the marsh and see exactly where it comes marsh out. Is right there, yeah. Yeah, but I'm not sure where on the marsh. Yeah, mark it. Yeah, good. Yeah, good point. This is that's a pretty big tree. Eric Schrader and I headed out to Northeast Oklahoma to check out an area we call the Secret Swamp. The last time we were out there in June, we kind of got a little bit of a surprise. Here we got a video clip of what happened. Take note that Eric breaks a tree branch. more than just a little surprised to hear what sounded like a live tree being pushed over. In real life, it was actually a heck of a lot louder than it sounded like it was in the video. As you can imagine, we were determined to come back and check out the area. It had been a little while, but you know how summer is. This was the first time that we'd had an opportunity to get back over there. Unfortunately, they had had a little bit more rain thought they had. As you could tell by the roads, they had had quite a bit of rain there already, and the weatherman, or the prophets of doom as I like to call them, were predicting that more was on the way, so we were concerned. I met up with Eric and we got out and we visited for a little while and we deployed an audio recorder at that location. We started checking the weather and we determined that it probably wasn't going to be a good idea to stay down in that area because it was a lot muddier there and the roads were not as good. So we ended up retreating, I guess you could say, to a different area further west that actually had a little bit better, nice rock roads. We were less concerned with getting stuck at that spot.
Well, we just arrived at the secret swamp and we um, got out. It's super peaceful, except we're, we can hear the hot pe the vehicles on the highway in the distance. That's kind of irritating, mm -hmm. but- uh, We're on the high ground also. Yeah. We're expecting an inch of rain in the next 24 hours. It's supposed to be a typhoon. So, yay, yay us. So we, we chose uh, a less than desirable camping location uh, because it was closer to a rock road that would enable us to actually be able to go home at the end of the weekend. So instead of becoming a permanent fixture out here, right? Um, but anyway, we, we were out at, uh, we went a little bit further into one of the more muddy areas and we deployed an audio recorder back there. Uh, that is what a mile and a half east of where we're at right now. Yes. So we've got an audio recorder deployed there. We've got an audio report recorder running about, I don't know, 50 yards outside of our camp here. And, uh, we're just basically sitting around enjoying this beautiful calm before the storm, I guess. Uh, we, at this point, we really don't know how much actual research we're going to be able to do this weekend because we really don't know what the weather is going to do. But we're going to be here, and if the weather clears up, we're going to deploy the drone, and we're going to fly it around and go check the swamps to see if there's any, you know, muddy areas where the water, we're hoping that the water levels have gone down a little bit, and we will be able to you know, look for footprints and do some scouting with the drone. If not, um, plan B is we would like to go back out there and try to find that tree that got pushed over the last time we were here. So, and we'll try to, we should probably try to break a, a stick like we did, like you did before and see if that gets uh, any type of response. So... I don't know. This place is kind of exciting. So, love it out here. I may have a different opinion tomorrow when it starts raining. <laughs> Hopefully the the prophets of doom, or as you may know them, the weathermen, hopefully they're exaggerating again. And I did bring my my mud boots. So, we'll see what happens. But we're going to just going to sit here and chill and listen. The owls are out. They're doing their thing. We haven't heard anything terribly unusual yet, but the sun really hasn't been down that long. Is it 9 o'clock yet? It is now, yeah. Oh, is it? Okay, it's 9 o'clock. So hopefully the highway traffic will die down pretty soon, and, and uh, we'll be able to, uh, I don't know, I don't know what time we'll go to bed tonight, but... As soon as it starts raining, I'll probably definitely go to bed. So, all right, we'll catch you if anything. If anything starts happening, we'll let you know. And the next morning, there was a break in the rain. So we sent the drone up to do a little checking around. As you can see, this pond had a little bit of water in it. And the ground around it looked very muddy. We wrapped up the drone flying and headed down into that lower area where we had had the tree break before. We did a little bit of hiking around. While we were over there, we found several interesting things, including a footprint. You know what's weird about this place? It just kind of hit me. This is oak. Yeah. Like, I don't see any cedars. I mean, well, there's a little cedar right there, but 
this whole area is primarily oak. Which normally the places that we go to have a lot of cedars or big pines. So we are on our way back to the location that Eric and I had the encounter with whatever it was that pushed the tree over. We're trying to duplicate what we did the same way we did it before. Anyway, hopefully that works out. Oh, wow. Different time of the year. Last time we were here, it was like June. I remember it was hot as hell. The place looks a lot different. Everything is full bloom. Yeah. food. <clears throat> There's water over there a little bit from the last time. How is it possible that there's water all over the road and then but yet the marsh is down? Let me set up my recorder. Jeez. Last time we were out here, whatever it was, was over there.
far as we got last time. Yeah. <clears throat> Looks like hogs have been over here. That's another food source. It's uh, eight inches deep. Well, it was over there. I'm going to walk around there. Seems to be a berm. Walk the shoreline, then we'll see some imprints. Found what? A footprint? It could be. <coughs> Take some photos of it with your camera. It looks like something. You see they're digging there. And this is hogs. That footprint that Eric found was at least 14 inches long. It's a pretty good find. I wear a 14 double E and my foot is only 10 and three quarters inches long. That was a great find on Eric's part. Hogs everywhere. Somewhere over in here is where that tree got pushed down. We're going to go over there here in a minute. I'm going to wait for Eric to get on the my side for I was wandering off in there alone.
I haven't seen anything over here that I thought would look like footprints. I've seen a lot of hog sign. You want to head for the tree line and yeah. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> That's weird. What? That concrete thing. Woodpecker. Heard him knocking earlier. You know, this tall grass would be a good place to like lay down and wait for hogs to come in. Food source. Yeah, I suppose we eat that. Tubers. All right. Thank goodness we're out of that. About the time we entered the woods, unknown to us at the time, these three deer got spooked out of the woods. I'm not exactly sure why this happened, but the thought crossed my mind that maybe something was moving up to the north to come check us out. This is a video clip from a camera that we actually left out there on the marsh. It's probably about 250 yards behind us. To say that those three bucks are in a huge hurry would be an understatement. I don't know what caused them to do this, but whatever it was was apparently moving towards Eric and I. We never saw anything stalking or following us, but you never know. They're sneaky like that, even during the daytime. So keep an eye out for us in the background. If you see anything, get us a timestamp and put it in the comments. I don't think this is the one that we heard fall. You don't think so? No, I think it would look almost still alive. Look at this up here. Yeah? That's an awful big bird. Let's get a closer look at that. That's weird. I, I think this is it. 
I think the, the tree we're looking for is further to our left. You think that big tree falling took that thing out? This one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. It would make sense that there would be a trail going up and down the river. You know, where they move up and down. Maybe this is a stopover place. You know, like you said, there's tubers over there in the marshes. They could stop in here, spend a day, relax, eat some tubers. Ooh, that river's right there. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's see if we can find it, but be on the lookout for like an oversized game trail. And of course, any arches. There's a lot of trees out here that look like they've been hit by lightning. Maybe. I don't know, this looks old. Old, look at all the dirt. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it still has leaves at the far end. Yeah, I guess it's been six months, but. Or are those leaves from other trees? I don't know. I really thought I would see more fresh looking roots. That's a beast tree.
Well, this part of the river is definitely navigable. Do you want? Come. Try to stay out of the Let's phone. Start with this. Where do you think this started? Mm -hmm. That's uh, hmm. it's like uh, just a climbing vine. I mean it. Yeah, where do you think it started? I don't see Possibly a root. around this old tree next to it, maybe, and then it, two trees got, I don't know. Um, All right, <clears throat> come down here. Stupid boy. Follow this, follow it. It goes up. Follow the vine, it goes up and then down and then it goes off to other trees. How did that happen? <laughs> I don't know. Look at that. That is like a net or something. Jungle gym. How did that happen? <clears throat> I can only assume, okay, okay, this tree fell Yeah. with the vine, the vine came and ended up hooking all that stuff, They're somehow. this tree probably had a lot more branches but have rotted and died. Okay. Yeah. Are you getting all this on video though? Yeah. It's, it it's, is. It's interesting. Pretty cool. Oh, some big birds flying up river coming towards us be still or maybe it's flying away it's flying away crap I was hoping it was an eagle well there is a game trail here you hear that woodpecker a concrete structure over there right on the bank on the far end maybe it's an old bridge we are in old oil field country there's no telling really look at the size of that tree that thing is huge. Look at that. The steel pipe? Yeah. It's from an old cable or pipeline that went across. That was a long time ago. Yeah. Oh no, that's some kind of bird. What's uh Slowly move this way and back in. Well, maybe that's what we heard. 
Oh, that does look fresh, doesn't it? That's definitely alive. Checking it out. Yeah, that's that was a dude. There's no rot on that. That's alive. I mean, when that happened. And what in the hell is that? That's weird. What? I mean, the A-frame is not that weird, but that is peculiar. It's almost like there used to be sheets of tin over the top of this to keep rain off of a piece of equipment or something. Oh, look at that. See the rings around? Maybe this was a ferry of some sort. Getting uh, equipment off a barge? Maybe. Is there anything on the other side? That could be from the river flooding. <clears throat> Is there anything, any, do you see an A-frame on the other side of the river? I don't. <laughs> Full disclosure, I do not intend on falling. Oh, come on now. Take one for the team. Dude, I don't know that I'd do that. Well, that was uh, woo -hoo. that was a little deeper than I thought, but I got the right boots. <laughs> I'm supposed to start downpouring. It's going to change. Yeah. Because if it rains. We're going in town to eat. <laughs> we left that area and headed off to another area where we deployed the drone and flew it around for a while doing a little scouting. We did not really find anything of interest and then it started to sprinkle on us, so we headed back to our base camp area. I lightly looked over this drone footage, but if you see anything moving around that looks suspect in any of my drone footage, please get the timestamp and let me know about it. 
kind of funny side note, we ran into a young man who was squirrel hunting. I kind of asked him if he'd ever seen anything unusual out here in this area. And he said that one time, whenever he was hunting for squirrels along this creek that you're looking at, something was pacing him and following him through the woods. He said he never got a look at it, but he said it sounded big. Kind of spooked him. I asked him when that happened, and he said about four years ago. All right, everyone, it's time for Outdoor Squatching Cooking with Brian and Barrett. On the menu for today, I'm going to make a culinary treat, sandwich, half a sandwich, and a piece of celery. What do you have there, Mr. Eric? I got a 16 year old MRE. And it has cheese in it. So I'm gonna try to uh, not get sick. Okay. Usually I would uh, advise my students to avoid 16 year olds. But uh, in this case, it might be uh, scrum delicious. First Strike Nutritious Energy Bar. Ooh. I've never seen that before. First Strike. Chunky peanut butter. <laughs> now that is no way. Peanut M&Ms. Those were in there? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Beverage base, raspberry, sugar-free, Kool-Aid mix. Ooh, Kool-Aid. Cheese tortellini in tomato sauce. Damn. Spiced apple pieces. That's pretty good. Too. That is the most humanitarian. That is why. Wow. No, these are military MREs, not. Oh, the, those are you've upgraded not, from your humanitarian this, meals. Yes. Okay. These are. This is what the military gives you. They're. I don't know, like two thousand calories or three thousand calories. They're. They're pretty high. Cool. High speed. At Sixteen years old, maybe two thousand eight. Yep. Sweet. I'm the hog. You know, when we go out and do this stuff, we do a lot of hiking. And yeah, you need to eat and stuff. But, you know, a couple of years ago, I just kind of came to the conclusion, did you come out here to cook food or did you come out here to find evidence? That's why we kind of eat like this. A lot of times it's just a hot dog cooked over a fire wrapped in a tortilla. I mean, it's just whatever's good and fast. For lunch, it's a uh, half of a sandwich from Walmart. Anyway, there's your uh, cooking tips. From Red Dirt Cryptid, what did you find? Does that do it? Does that look like a expiration date? 2037? Where do you see 2037? There's a 37. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Eat it. Anyway.
<clears throat> just sitting in here in the rain, eating Reese's Pieces. And it rained, and it rained some more. What an inconvenient time for the weatherman to be right. I feel like we're wasting our day away. Um, hiding in our vehicles because it's raining. Oh. I don't know when it's going to quit. And... It's boring. But that's Mother Nature. So, we'll see. Hopefully it'll dry up a little bit and we'll be able to go do something. But right now this hiding in the vehicle is kind of killing me. Jeez. Oh well. God, I'm tired. Mm. Well, Eric and I actually fell asleep. And we slept for several hours in the vehicles. When I finally woke up to the sound of Eric's car door opening, well, it was dark. So we tallied the votes, and the verdict was we were going to pack up and leave. We threw in the towel and headed for town for some Mexican food. And it is still pouring. give it up. The weatherman was actually right this time. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one.